And so we're here today with um, Meredith O'Connor, Jeremiah Birch, Corey Fox. And we are doing our second part of our anti-bullying video message. And we are so excited to have Meredith finally joining us. Yeah, yeah. I just thought I'd, I was so happy to find out that um, you know his company was going to do a movement and help me out with a movement of my anti-bullying video. So um, if you guys ever heard the song The Game, um, you will hear that it is a song that I wrote and it has a message of um, overcoming any challenges or any peer pressures or bullies or you know kind of any put downs that you've ever had to live through because just just since just because somebody judges you or puts you in, in a certain category doesn't mean that you actually are in that category life is what you make it and you know I want my fans or people who listen to my music and supporters to know that and I just want people who haven't heard my music to hear it so they could actually maybe um, Maybe if they're going through something tough, they can listen to it and realize, you know, I went through that a lot, <clears throat> and um, I was pressured to gossip, be mean, um, get in fights, but I didn't do that, and I got picked on because I was different. But, you know, it's okay, because I found people who I truly want as my friends, and that's what happens. Okay. And so, uh, we met Corey through Ken, uh, the owner of the Pet Loft, and um, Corey... Um, wanted also to talk about a few experiences with um, the public education system and also um, pursuing the acting uh, skills of Jeremy. Right, right. Um, I think, uh, sure. Uh, I feel like one of the biggest problems uh, we had with the public school system was the uh, the, den uh, the denial of really uh, that any problem exists. Uh, I, we were speaking earlier about uh, the school system act is actually um, a system in business, and they want to make money. And uh, <laughs> if if they don't uh, if they don't get enough kids in the school, they don't have a good rating, um, you know, A, B, C, or D. Then people aren't going to want to go to the school. So unfortunately, uh, our public school ex uh, experience wasn't great. Jeremiah is an artist and a creative person he's usually thinking about something you know to help others or thinking about acting and um you know he just doesn't understand fighting so uh sometimes those kids tend to get picked on but we realized that um that if we could if we could just get the teachers and the people to participate in you know acknowledging the bullying that it does exist instead of saying that it doesn't um we'd be a lot better off As um, someone who started, yeah, sure. <laughs> who started um, acting and pursuing acting and, and yeah. the stage and all that of every young had, age. Um, well, I was so actually talking to him a little bit about how acting and you know I, I told him that I'm here because uh, I uh, have this anti-bullying movement and you know Jeremiah starts at, started as a young age and I and I did too and the thing is bullying and acting as sad as it is we're related um, and it shouldn't be that way but. Basically, you know, Jer Jeremiah is an artist, and there are many other boys and girls out there who are artists who are growing up who just don't fit in the mold of school. And that was kind of what I was because I didn't have time to do sports. I was always working. And for whatever reason, people didn't, in my school, you know, people, the peers, I mean, I'm not saying that there's no other people that were like me, but they weren't, you know, the people around me were nothing like me. And it was very sad because I grew up with a bad self image because I was, um, told that, that I wasn't supposed to be that way. I was told that I was supposed to be this way. And um, <clears throat> I think that teachers will ignore it, you know, and mm -hmm. teachers will say stuff like, oh, there's no problem. But because of performing arts and because I'm a different person and uh, very, you know, I, I guess there's just different things about me that, that make me unique and it's hard uh, to, to fit in sometimes. And when you don't fit in at a young age, it's, you know, it can be really, really, really painful and tough. And I want to put an end to that. Were you also homeschooled? Did you mention yourself? Well, I wanted, I wanted to be homeschooled. Um, but I ended up, I ended up not to, I just ended up, I think, missing two months of school for a while for touring. But when I came back to school, it was, you know, it was the same thing. I, I but no, I, I do believe that, um, well, I, I did end up making, well, the way I handled it is, I was, I just got picked on, I just dealt with it, <laughs> it was horrible, and it, I mean, did, did it, I mean, I guess I got stronger from the experience, would I recommend any kid ha having to go out there and deal with it? No, no, what, what I recommend is, is uh, if you cannot be homeschooled, you got to find people who don't pick on you and accept you for who you are, 
and no matter how long that takes because when you find them even if it's only one person you're very lucky because very few people have that friend that is an actual quality friend and that's such a rare thing nowadays so thank you friends for being good friends <laughs> yeah. yeah um so jeremiah um what has been your best experience so far with your acting and and all that you're doing with your auditions and stuff uh, like my favorite audition sure uh, I think uh, I've been out in so many auditions uh, but I think my favorite might be uh, Pizza Hut okay. I went I went out for Pizza Hut I went, got the call back and yeah. Each you know, two auditions I went for, I got a free slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good pizza. There was this chicken commercial that my friend did, and they had to keep spitting out the chicken, and then they ended up just throwing out. Glamorous story for you guys. I don't know why I'm talking about this. But at least, you're, you know, yours his, a sad little better experience than that. And um, uh, I understand you are currently in production for a, um, a Broadway play, is it? Or play? Sure. Um, Rags, is yeah. it? Uh, Rags, the musical, is coming out uh, at the end of, end of May, the beginning of June. Uh, it's it's an it's a immigrant story from the turn of the century where um, a mother and her son come over from Russia and uh, just all the struggles that they go through. It's quite exciting, the music. Um, Schwartz and Strauss make the music, so it's the same guys that did Wicked and Pippin. It's, it's quite amazing. It's going to be on the Lower East Side. But, you know, it's all about hard work and dedication, I feel like, uh, with acting. You know, uh, you, have to, you have to be strong inside. And, Jay, I know talking about, you know, the bullying situation where, you know, and Jeremiah and I have talked about this before, it's not just about the person that's being bullied, yes, it's a terrible experience and you're twice um, under a victim attack when nobody will believe that it happened or they dismiss the fact of the seriousness of it, but the bully themselves. I mean, these kids are under a tremendous amount of pressure. They're trying to fit into a world that doesn't make sense to them either. They may not have the resources or the support to help them. Um, you know, kind of move through their pain and frustration and emotions to get to the next level. So I'm glad that the company um, that we're supporting is in, interested in both sides of the coin because you can't just fix one without the other. Yeah. You know, the, the goal is to, to, to stop it, move forward, and have everybody be successful. I'd like to see everyone win in the situation. All right, so we can't finish this without some singing. I mean, we can both sing. Do we have a guitar? If not, it's cool too. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hmm. Don't go breaking my heart. What? Yeah, what do you want to sing? What you both sing? Uh, I don't think you'll know the lyrics though. But it's, it's a thing from uh, Rags. Hmm. What's your. How about. Don't go break my. <laughs> um, no, let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear, both. let's hear your rats. Okay, should I sit, stand or? You should probably stand. Whatever you want. Okay. I remember summer evenings sitting you and I, while the cranes were calling on eastern sky. Sometimes we don't love things till we tell them goodbye. Oh, my homeland, my homeland, goodbye. First song in the entire thing, so. Oh, hey, that's the overture. Yep. Well, it's the prologue. Well, high five, because that was really awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Meredith, sing here. something from Aladdin. Or <laughs> 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 uh, there is a castle. Do you want to sing that one? I don't really know that one. All from Les Mis? Yeah. Okay. We are, well, we're a theater geeks, so we should find something. But anyway. Um, Wait. Uh, do, you, do you know Proud of Your Boy? Aladdin? From Aladdin? Yeah. Oh, no. That's the Broadway version, right? Yeah. We cut that, and as well as Prince or, Prince or Lee, the third reprise or something like that. Second reprise. Uh, Hmm. Well, um, if you guys want to check out redheadrandy.com, that's an anti-bullying movie that uh, I'm in, and it's going to be about how um, 
people who are picked on and the victims can end up getting revenge. So it's also it's all our films coming out in Halloween. So if that is your taste, go check it out. And you're doing a film too, right? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm doing a film uh, with D. Snyder's kids, uh, nice. Twisted Sister. Their, their kids are both 20 and they're uh, artists. And I was lucky enough to be in a film with, uh, with them. Cool. It's, uh, it's uh, Fool's Day. Uh, it's a uh, comedy um, about these. a fifth grade class plays an April Fool's Day prank on their teacher by putting a bunch of things in their, her coffee and her head explodes mm -hmm. and the dare officer is coming in an hour yeah and so they they're, they're they have to hide the body and I don't want to give away any spoilers uh, it's at Tribeca Film Festival uh, so I'll go see that yeah see it'll be you stop by Redhead Randy and then that one yeah like both stuff <laughs> <laughs> but that sounds really that sounds yeah. awesome I hope you have fun yeah. with that yeah I did have a lot of fun I actually met my best friend on that shoot He's uh, in LA doing a Nickelodeon show right oh, now. Oh, nice! Yeah, we That's both fun. we both like the same things, and yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always fun to make friends with Seth. Yep. I just wanted to say thank you for thanks, your Jay. great thanks. words and um, for this message, and thank thanks you. for joining us. All right. Okay. Hey, thank you. <laughs> da, 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 da. That was good singing. Do you give us another song. Do you have one? What, which I say? I don't know. <laughs> Anything you like. What do you sing? Uh, I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving I just actually came back from recording for like three hours and my voice is gone. But you, you have a very, very, very good young voice you, you know you're gonna get older when he gets older he's gonna be like Rawr. and right. then yeah all of a sudden but you're gonna go from alto to tenor you're gonna go from alto to yeah really well you might who knows it might be a bass he might be a bass he always wanted to sing the deep parts when he was like three remember summer evenings sitting you away.